Can so, I um? It's off with Joe Sparrows. I want to bring up something because you were saying that uh, we bring up a lot of old times. Yeah. Just quick story. Do you remember? I'll t- I'll tell you what I remember, and everybody is pretty aware that I don't remember things that well. Right. Well, this is always why. I oh, always... should I should I pitch that joke that I had? I I didn't know if it was that well. Let's save it for later. Yeah, yeah. I well, no. So so what happened, Ross? Let me just f- finish this to the end because this is what I remember. Well, I gotta get pissed off. You you might, but th- th- this is what I remember. Um, you, let me ask you this: Would you say that the old Dino Bosco was quite a quite of an alcoholic? No, a binge drinker. <laughs> A binge drink, okay. Yeah. But w- would you think that the old Dino Bosco was a Urban Dictionary Rubino where they drank too much and it was a huge pain in the ass? Uh, All right, no, no, no answer to that. There's only one answer to that, man. Yes, I was a pain in the ass. Okay. Any, anyways, point is that I remember, and I'm not. I don't want to mention old shit with old exes because it's just fucking dumb. Cause I think you should. But, but <laughs> yeah, you're no. going to anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Do, do, okay, this is what I remember. I wanted to go out with Kathleen. Yes. There's this girl, Kathleen. I worked at Jewel. Ross worked at Jewel. We talked about this whole episode. The, the, I couldn't get this off my mind because I think you told me half of the story, and then it just sparked. Like, I remember the whole fucking story. I don't think I was old enough to buy alcohol, but you were. I really wanted to fuck Kathleen. Here's my problems. Johnny, her fag... Hag, was criticizing the fuck out of me. He's like, you know what? This guy, this guy's, oh, this guy's too distasteful. He doesn't have class. He doesn't listen to the right bands. He's not hipster enough. He's not, he doesn't have a nice, you know, tight ass. And he, he was just criticizing the fuck out of me, calling the shots. So I'm like, what do I got to do with that? And then at the same time, uh, I didn't know, like, I, I just, I had no, I was like, what do I do in that situation? What, do, what would you guys do? You know, do you ask him out? You take him out to dinner? Who, Johnny? Well, either either of them, just to just to get it, you, you know, just to get to the goal. You got to get past the defenders. So, what do you do? I, I you know, I, I, I mean, what would you do, Ross? Pull some Harvey Weinstein. I would not get the going time of the day of this if uh, a pussy like that was such. So, a if you were Harvey Weinstein and sitting there naked, and she goes, "What time is it?" You're like, "Get the fuck out of here! You're not even gonna watch this anymore." No, I don't know where I'm going with that. No, but I liked it. You're thinking, and that's important. I don't know. I don't think. Quite frankly, I, if I like somebody enough, I will go for it. I don't care what. W- okay. Care what, what, anything about the friends and what they have to say. If I like the person. Well, I, if I, it affects I, I, them, if if they got them under a fucking hypnosis, you know, little gold cross or wh- whatever the fuck they're hypnotizing them with. Well, a- any anyways, here's what happened. I'm fucking rambling. Here's what happened. Typical fail. Yep. Hear nothing as usual. Don't don't anybody ramble like me cuz I'll fucking sue you. Get to no. the point. Yes. I I was like, "All right. I asked her if we want to party. We go to her house. Her ma's out of town. I ask Ross to buy us booze. Nice. I'm like, "Well, I don't even really give a fuck about getting drunk. I just kind of want to be able to ask her out, want to be able to make make out with her. I've been talking to this girl for 2 weeks, I can." What do I do? She goes, oh, yeah, we'll have a little party. I'll bring my buddy Johnny and my friend Grace. Nice. Luckily, the, I was I was just setting up the blueprints because Ross had a crush on Grace. So I'm like, you know what's going to happen? To be honest with Ro- you, I didn't have a crush on this you, one. Ross, there was about three songs that are on YouTube that you sang that are about Grace. So let's just, let's just stick to that. Yeah. What? Yeah, there's, there's the Roscoe song, which the metal one. Then there's the D- Dino Bosco tells stories, and then I have one that's unreleased because it was just selling too many copies. It was just fucking going. Because <laughs> no, I'm so. that golden, bo- people. Oh, you're st- you're staying golden. Yeah, anything I Dino do boys. is it hits a million million um, views. Well, on with the story. I I I'm like, well, what? The, so what? What do I do here? We get to her house. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do anything to just have alone time with her. You're like, well, what the fuck? I bought you guys. I I had you buy this gallon. Vo- you know those cheap vodkas, Bill? Oh yeah. Where it's like a, it's like bigger than a gallon. It's like skull or something. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Some aristocrat in your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. What do you mean aristocrat? It, that's a really shitty brand of vodka. It, it's it's in a plastic bottle, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. I, if I if I remember correctly, I bought you guys a jewel brand. 
Ooh, yeah, even so it was better. Even, yeah, yeah. Heritage. It was, it was more like rubbing off alcohol. Yeah. Well, that's that's the best to get, right? Yeah. Especially if you're like hitting a bullet or a crack pipe at the same time in a trailer. Well, I would have known. I never done. As far as my you haven't lived. You're so repressed, Ross. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, anyways, with the st- the crack pipe stories for later. So, so now we um we're, we're we're at her house. You're like, all right, I got you guys this shit. We we t- we all took shots. Nobody wanted to take more than like two shots, including me. I'm like, okay, I have some alone time. I can start whispering into her ears, start singing some Aladdin soundtrack sure. songs. You know, <laughs> Johnny hated you because you were super homophobic. So he he didn't, he was like I'm not gonna be that that guy's a fucking animal fuck him he, and and he don't want to be around you so that's good for you because you got Gracie she but then it, but then it's good for me because Gracie's fucking terrified of you so so then I'm like all right I'm finally alone I put the bottle on a counter all right I'm 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 about to make out with her and then there's Roscoe fucking sipping the sipping the whole fucking thing and knocking shit over in her kitchen I'm like all right well I gotta hide this shit. Because her ma's not, dude. She's fucking. She's Polish, and 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 she's 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 a redneck Polish. It's called Gural. She's like a gypsy Polish. So she's gonna. Is fucking, that actually a word? Gu- say it again. Gu- Gural. Yeah. It's like. It's like the whole Gogo Bordello thing. There, there's there's like a high class and middle class Poland, and the, and the Gural. They're like they're like more gypsy. They're like they're like they're like, where Borat is. Are they oh. the mountain people? Yeah, yeah, the mountain people. So so point is she's gonna slit your neck if you fuck up her house. So 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 I, I'm like you know, don't don't fuck up her shit. I hide the bottle. I go back to Kathleen. Yours and I, I hear rumbling again like there's a raccoon in the garbage. <laughs> but again, it's Roscoe finds the bottle on top of the fridge. Like Ross, you gotta chill. Don't touch shit. You're going to get obnoxious. I told you about this shit. You're like, no, I fucking paid for it. This is our alcohol. So I'm like, all right, man, take a break. I'll get, I'll, I'll give it to you in an hour. Just let me fucking get some alone time. You keep f- blue balling me here. I put it in the fridge. Once again, I hear a raccoon rambling in the garbage. You get it. Fourth time, I fucking put it under her ma's bed. I find you under the fucking bed drink, <laughs> drinking it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Dino Bosco, Mission Impossible. Just just finding that vodka everywhere. So you know what I did? Do you remember what I did? Uh, no, I was pretty blacked out. Yeah. Uh, well, it's good that you don't remember because we might not be friends after this episode. I got a really long straw, put it in another really long straw, and another long straw, tied your legs and arms to a chair, then I duct ta- silver taped you around there, taped the bottle in your hands, and then the straw to your face. And I was like, yo, you said you only want to get drunk and not fuck shit up. So you can be tied to this chair, get drunk, have a good time, and, and you know, even have a few hand room to jag off to me and Kathleen making out. You know? Anyways, point Wait, is- Wait, it was in the same room? I don't, I don't. I think it was in the living room because I put him right in the middle of a room where he won't be able to like tip over like a you know hostage is trying to escape. Sure. And mess something up. So I, so and then the next morning everyone's passed out and his fucking ma shows up to like some Silence of the Lambs shit because it's just you, like with this vodka bottle tied and you tied to a chair. <laughs> Do you, you know like? It's just, it's just like you got it. <laughs> what? No. You, you don't remember this? <laughs> what? What? Say it. Cut. cut, cut. What, what? Just cut it, please. Cut what? Why? She was like, I can't. I mean, this is such bullshit. <laughs> what? What? So what? Do you remember it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do you remember waking up tied to a chair? <laughs> uh, you just didn't want me to say this. Is that, is that what it is? No, it's just completely, utterly ridiculous that you're fucking um, uh, bringing up all old uh, logic like this. <laughs> it's just well, well, no, it's a funny story, isn't yeah, it? It is. Okay. So well, you, I had to mention that. So you do remember. Yeah. All right, man. I'm sorry. Man, I'm this sorry. is nice. No, this yeah. is good. This, this is, is good because, you know, all these stories that I, uh, as a better person, I keep... My stories, what I have about Phil, have you have you ever been tied to a chair like a victim, Bill? No, no, I can't say that I have. But it sounds great. If you want to get to back to Johnny, he was always like, "Yeah, this little you know Phil is such a cunt bitch." Dude, 
he is an he, he had a lot of great taste. He was a good artist. He was, but he, but but he he was uh he talks shit about everyone. Well, let me let me put this table. And you know what? Here's the people tell me that I talk shit. When you tell when you there's positive advice because, like I said, I'm I'm raised with an interior designer and a fucking musician, so I I, I like who's a musician. I, I I'm I I'm saying I'm a musician oh. and I was raised with an interior designer, so I have a lot of picky bitch taste, which is good. And sometimes I can be blunt because I don't like to sugarcoat. I don't like to be that guy. Oh, you know what? Your band's awesome because I'm your friend. No, if you're my friend and your band sucks, your band fucking sucks. Well, this like, is why I love going to shows with you because you always uh so like thought about it. You you, you know you you don't go so much you know the headliner is like you're supposed to like them. Yeah, and you said you know. Again, when we went to Mayhem, I thought it was a good show because I thought it was all like dark and novelist. And you said Spider about said what you did like on Mayhem, and they said sound like shit. Which, yeah, which I did don't uh, disagree, but that's just why I you gotta pull it mic closer. This is why I uh, agree, go, go to shows just pull with, it, go to shows with you because it's like a penis getting closer, man. You're all you know, you're making me look like a jackass. Anyway, did you wind up making out with Kathleen? Was it a magical, romantic evening? I, I mean, I guess. S- sponsored by Jewel Brand Vodka? Yeah, yeah, sponsored by Jewel Brand Vodka. Nice. And Grace had a good time. Johnny had a good time. Everyone yeah, I don't, had fun. I don't even know what you did to Grace. Uh, she might have been in the other room tied up with Johnny. Ooh. I don't even know what you did to Johnny, man. This is getting ridiculous. Was there a straw going from his butthole to the vodka? <laughs> what? I mean, dude, it's you save money getting drunk that way. You ever do that before? No. No, not even as Dino Bosco. You're blacked out, man. Now, how do you know that I didn't put that straw tied to your butthole? Because my butthole is tight as hell. I don't think you can fit it up there. That's a straw? Like. A McDonald's straw, man. Those are pretty fucking, like, you know, flexible. Ugh. Did you When you got x-rayed, did they find a Happy Meal in your, like, rectum? No, and I, and I had, uh, you know. Like, like those toys. I did have the test of cancer, so I, I was checking that area. So I'm pretty sure, you know. Wait, your butthole? Yes, they check it that for two for possible okay. cancer. Okay. So how know, did that feel? Oh, oh, God. How well, it's you? it's supposed to feel good in men. No, it, it was terrifying. How would you feel if a two fit girl guy stick at something in your asshole and you're not and, and you're not into well, it? And that's what hear nothing is for. Hear nothing, see nothing, say We're gonna do it right now. Yeah, that's okay. exactly right. Who who is gonna bend over? It's not gonna be me. I had enough. Are you gonna be the poker? <laughs> Hey, we're talking about bonding here. What, what, we Why is it always on me? Why can't we? we... I don't know, Bill. Are you going to be the poker? I'd be honored. Okay. All right. I don't want to touch anybody's ass. <laughs> no, no. I'll do the touching. Don't worry. No, you don't want to go into my ass. There's too many things up there. All right. Elaborate. Too many, there's too many things. Like... There's been too many things up there. Okay. What? But you just said you don't like getting shit in your asshole. It, it doesn't mean people. Oh, I don't want to. That's just go, go on. I hear the prostate is very, very sensitive and that stimulating it is very pleasurable. If you do it right. And you're saying no one's done it right yet. No. Well, maybe you just haven't found the right guy. No, it wasn't a guy. It was a girl. Regardless. Yeah. Men do it better. What if it was a shemale? Would it make things better? Dude, I'm stoked. Yeah, but, well, I don't know. I just, I don't even know why I asked, but. Yeah. It was, it was a, that was a hell of a night, you know? Yeah. When I mean, you got your prostate tested. No. When I always, once again, we we had so many following hours, man, that one night. Oh, know, yeah. It was like, I, I think every night that we hang out, we have a falling out. No, I That's just last, the way. I think last time, last time was pretty good. Oh, what? oh okay. Yeah. Well. It, that was like one of our good nights. <laughs> Get fucked up, dude.